Welcome back to Texas for the Texas State Disc Golf Championship presented by Lone Star Disc. We, this was a silver event last season. Oh, wow. Brody and I loved it. It was the first event on the... It sorry, was. Guys. No, I it forgot. Was, it was a silver event last year. I wasn't sarcastic. Yeah. No, I, I'm just... <laughs> we got a few people. I just stopped doing it into those people on the tee box. I was like, <laughs> sorry if I sorry if I asked you. And next on hey, the okay. tee, <laughs> I feel like a douche from now. Texas. Um, but since there's no silver events this year, thankfully they did make this an actual full tool stop, which we're all excited about. Oh the front nine is on Brody's channel, and the back nine is starting right now. Let's get right into it. All right, hole number 10. We got a 720 foot par four, basically dead straight the whole way. I hate you for that. That I, was nothing. You no. couldn't get one hole without saying it. Dead straight. Oh, <laughs> I thought you weren't recording. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, we got OB. I didn't, I'm not even, it's just unconscious. Your at this first point. hole. It's just automatic. You first know? hole. It is though. It's a straight <laughs> hole. We got OB lying the fairway, which is oh, kind these of a dead theme. people. <laughs> no, no, no. Those dead branches and those uh, dead zones. It's dead straight. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not. I don't. I'm not like trying to, you know, annoy you. But it's just. It Did just you say the out. name of the tournament? The the name of the tournament is uh, the Dead Straight <laughs> Star Disc Classic. No. Anyway, a lot of the holes out here they have defined OB on both sides, which is really good. People don't like artificial OB, but I think it adds to the holes. Tell those people they can suck it. No. <laughs> this tee shot's actually really tricky. It looks like a pretty wide fairway, but at a disc height, like a typical thrown shot. It's actually really tight, so I think roller plays really well to kind of go underneath that gap. The air shot's tough. The roller, the one thing about the roller too is it's easy to go right or left OB, so it makes you think if you want to go air shot and risk the gap, or go roller and risk the OB left and right. I'll probably throw one of each. Kind of makes uh, you think you might want to throw a dead straight shot. <laughs> a dead straight <laughs> shot would be great, yeah. All right, here we go. Wow, that's my best tee shot on this hole, this whole week. By a mile. I've had um, I've had so much difficulty in practice getting out this gap, but thanks to you guys, that was perfect. That I was, don't think you don't realize how hard that was, but that was, that was very so nice. Uh, let's try the roller play, a little squash action. I need to throw this on a tiny bit of Annie, I think. Oh, how about a ton of Annie, and then just have it go straight right, straight into a tree safe. It's a little dicey. I don't really have another roller disc. I've got a lot of options here. Okay. I've got I got three roller discs. Nice. <laughs> We're just making roller discs. We got the, the Get Lucky Avenger SS. And we okay. got the Janus Thrasher. Ooh, the Nuke SS and is back. And the Nuke SS is back. So we'll give them all a go, but we'll try the uh, up the gut shot first. TI Nuke. Wow. Get past that. Oh, it did. That's a great shot. Wow, we'll make this, this air shot look way too it's easy. It's very hard. I mean, that gap that he just hit, we can zoom in here. That gap is about wide? 12 feet. Yeah, it's oh, very tight. 12. Yeah, you think? 12 sounds better. 12 sounds better. All right, new guess. It out. looks like maybe like five feet from this angle, but I think it's angled. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. No, that's a good angle. Might be too much. Wow, I thought that was going to be too much cut, but it actually might be too... too uh, Oh He's yeah, local. just curl yeah, at the end. Be right. Wow. Curl at the end. That thing's still pretty flippy. All right, I don't. These are all like kind of testers here. <laughs> that might be a good angle. There you go. Yeah, and then it'll just curl on itself. That's really nice. Yeah, and that takes the gap so out of play. That was nice. Like, well, that well that actually went through the gap. It is like 50 feet wide. And that's a little too flippy, I think, maybe. That mm -hmm. might have actually been okay if I started it wider. So, mm -hmm. all right, cool. Options. I smell like um, the thing you put in your car. Oh, like, a, like an air freshener? Do you, like a, yeah, but a Christmas one. Oh, like the little tree? Yeah. You got sapped. You got sapped up, dude. Got straight sapped. This uh, upshot's always Holy tricky. It's like, unless you get like a ton of, I would like to be even, I would like to even have more distance off the tee than I got, because it's not necessarily uh, guaranteed. Yeah, you're way up there. I think I have to go forehand. I, I have I have no I, I have like, no back. Yeah, back instead. I think we're gonna go. Honestly, we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go nuke and just try to get a big skip out of this. I think we might even go standstill. 
Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Go in. Oh. Take nice it. shot, yeah, that's good. I might like L shot more than roller, actually. Because if I throw L shot and clip something early, it's probably like a pretty easy par. Uh, but maybe a small chance for a body, whereas if you throw a roll on, go straight OB, left or right, now you're playing for par at best. So I don't know. We'll keep uh, we'll keep trying it, but yeah, he's got like a wide open shot at it. Yeah, I'd so be, nice. I'd be stoked with that shot on hole ten. So nice. Can't tell if I'm anti stepper yet. Mm, you might be. I don't painful. know. Even it's just painful to heal that. I day. think it's just easier for me right now. Timing-wise, just to throw it like, ooh. Mm. I mean, I think... Maybe a jump putt. You should maybe start jump putting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I would call it. I wish you guys could hear what's going on in this fairway right now. What I are they wish doing? you could. I got, I got Kelvin and Zach and the other Zach. Are you causing drama? All right, hole number 11. I saw the Schultz right here. says this is the roller... Yeah, man, no roller hole. Strong disagree. Strong disagree. It is a great roller hole, though. But it is a little sketchy because, uh, like I said on hole 10, those OB on every hole. So you can easily, like, cut roll. Oh, not cut roll. Flip it up and turn right too soon and go OB kind of short. Uh, but it is a dog leg right, 834 feet. You kind of just have to get past this mando and the gap. And then you have a pretty um, attackable upshot. I'm going to, I'll probably try both again. Just to show you guys, I've got this uh, Swally Z Venom in my bag. Show the people you got the goods. And it goes kind of straight. We've got the American flag stamp on it because we're in Texas, you know. You said that goes straight? That looked like it just went right the whole time. If I throw it on enough high, it'll go straight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is actually kind of pushing the OB right, though. So I need to throw it. That was a crazy I'll throw a roll on now, man. That was a crazy cool shot. You want to you want to throw a shot? Yeah. Let's uh, get the, the the man himself celebrity appearance. Oh, you want to use one of my discs? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because you don't want to pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Squelch. No, no. Give me your like medium stable driver. You can throw that. It's, just, it's flippy though. Yeah. If I go. I can't give you one of my discs. That I, I, I can't afford to lose. <laughs> Not that I can't. He doesn't care about the squelch. This is my last squelch too. Am so. I oh. Heiser flip it. I thought. Uh, I thought flat probably. Maybe a little bit. Of, yeah, I thought flat. Maybe right. a little bit of Annie. Okay, well, when you throw it 80 miles an hour. I made the mando. I mean, that's technically safe. That's still fine. That's a good point. Just shank the roller and it's still in bounds. Give right. one of your good ones. Come on. That's, that is my good one. That's what I was going to throw. <laughs> that, yeah, throw that. Throw a Nuke OS on a roller. That's a small play. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be honest, but I can't risk that. Oh my gosh. What are you risking? Nothing. You just chuck your two of this into this pond already. This so lake I over like, here. That's, anything. that's the one to throw, but I can't let you throw that. Oh <laughs> I wouldn't. I never throw that on a roll though. I'm sorry. Hey Brody, can I throw one of yours? Uh, sure. I don't care I about just, my disc. <laughs> you come to the right guy. Like, what's your flippy nuke? Uh, throw that green one. This one? Yeah. That's expe That is expendable. That is How expendable. How flippy is it? Uh, I mean, it flips up for my forehand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that, me and Sa as teammates. Oh, but watch oh, this. Oh, oh. oh! And it's still perfect. It's Looks like it's an L shot. Land. Looks it's like it. It's still perfect. True. That's true. Yeah. All right, See, well, thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the advice, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> See, I go like a different route, though. I go like uh, flat. Right. And then have it flip. He likes the Anheuser start with the. With the yeah, ball. he does, yeah. I make the mando? Uh, I would force you to have to tell me I didn't. I can't see anything you want. I would force you to have to say that I didn't make it. Why? Well, I, no, I definitely missed. I definitely missed. You did? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to just turn I would never say, put that pressure on you. You're supposed to just turn around and be like, oh. Uh, yeah, in a tournament, I'd be like, like, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I saw it clearly miss it, but I'm going to force you to have to say it missed. All right, let's see if this works better. Come on. I actually get it out there. There. Yes. That is That's a good perfect. Angle. That is perfect. It's a great Look, it's angle. gonna go exactly like the hole was designed. Wow, it's almost like it is a Mando roller hole. That was <sighs> At nice. At the end of the day, you think to yourself, why would anyone ever throw a Glow Nuke SS? And right. then you see that shot. Yep. And you think to yourself, mm. I was made for this. Sap free.
No sap? My, my discs don't have Guys, sap my discs have so much sap on them. Um, okay, my, my tee shot. Did you ever figure out why that guy was throwing shots over there? I don't know if that guy's in the tournament. Okay. <laughs> he's also, yeah, I don't know. But oh, he looks like he's going the right direction now. Are you going to go over OB this whole time? I'm about 12 feet away shot. from the OB. But I think it's hard, it's difficult to go even further right than this with the arrow shot. I will say Salish is shanked roller. Pretty perfect spot to be. It was so, better than your jam. And that OB is, ah, man, it might be a roller. I need to try that more. Power Are we clear forehand. on this basket? Power forehand. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I think it's good. I would say so too. Right? Inside the circle. Let's see Silas. Let's see Silas get a body from a shanked backhand, <laughs> shanked forehand shot. Wow, oh. Brody. Ho, ho, ho. This glue nuke SS is really coming in, coming in clutch oh for you. Oh my gosh, this shot's <sighs> incredible. But still, you're only 15 feet away from the OB. I would much rather be OB here than OB back there. Great point. Great point. So just start to throw a roller straight is the goal, I guess. Yes. This is so far down the fairway. I didn't shoot it. I probably should have. Is that really short? Oh, no, it's fine. Great oh, shot. I'm so close. Good that. eyes. Sap? Not sap. Nice. 17, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Heck yeah. Uh, 15 to 25. And 15 and 25. All right, sweet. We're getting that uh, the full Texas, Texas experience with the wind. This is great practice today, then. Yeah, it's awesome out here. We get to see all the shots, <laughs> see how this is all reacting. None of my shots are going to fly like this. This uh, upshot, again, surrounded by OB on the right side. <clears throat> on the right, there we go. Scoobles back. The right side, they, there is a little bit of a pond that is also OB. You'd call um, that a little bit of a pond? That's a, that's a severe pond. a little pond. bit of a pond. No, I'm, well, this is for Texas, that's a spot that's like a little bit of a pond. I think you'd almost call that a, uh, a hog or a hag. A hag? Or a... Um, An old hag? That's kind of mean. A swamp a swamp hog or a pog. I think it's what, a puddle. What's the, I would call it a puddle. Swog. There, there's a word I'm thinking What would the name for this? Is this standing water, you think? Pond. You think it's standing water? Oh, yeah. That's Let's not just, moving. Let me get a quick view. There's video no flow. For you guys. Comment below what you think that a is. Bog. Is it a pond? It's a bog. A lake? B O G. A bog. An ocean. Let us know in the comments below. All right, hole 12, 460 feet. Love this hole. Straight hole, OB on the right side and OB long. No OB left. It's a um, plays very long. I think the, the ideal play for most right handed people will be a backhand up the right side, kind of pushing the OB the whole way and then having it finish and fade kind of underneath that branch and then just around the tree trunk. And then hopefully give yourself a putt. Did they but. push the OB right? They definitely did. You think it's fuller right than it was last season? Yeah, because I could have only I uh, could have sworn that if you hit that branch, you could drop OB. Mm, it's possible. I don't think you can drop OB anymore. You'd have to get a little bit of a roll now, but yeah, I could have sworn. Again, this is this is a temporary down. course, Ezra. Right. Yeah. So it's so the chance the, same. the yeah. chances that they put right. the same OB is almost impossible. Almost impossible. I'm gonna get under that branch now. I threw it just a little bit too high, but it's perfect. Oh, quit your whining. I'm not whining. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm ecstatic. I think I can just throw this. I can throw this almost on Annie, and it should still fight out. And it might make it a little bit easier to keep it low on the branch. Oh, boy, that's a shank. How grippy. <sighs> it's a really grippy. Yeah, it's super grippy. I've got tons of sap. I mean, sap is grippy, too, you know? Very grippy. Whoa! Black Betty, bang, bang, whoa! Black Betty, bang, bang. Pretty grippy though, dude. Stick, stick to what I know. Yep. Oh, what a shot. Nice. Like one. High School Musical always said. What it's like, that? stick to what you know, or I, mm. I gotta look it up. Okay, okay. This is pretty pretty important stuff. People need. Uh, to see. If you miss this, you are trash. Good shot. The pressure, the high pressure source situation is good to practice, though. Good shot. Thank you. All right, lucky number 14, 282 foot, Paul three, but it's technical. You got a mandatory left. You can't just spike something out there on the left side. You no, have you a wall can't. of trees. What? No, you, you can't. can't. Exactly. People want to. You got a wall of trees on the right. You've got this little offset gap up the middle. I think most people will be throwing kind of an oval stable to stable backhand like zone type disc at the at the tree and have it kind of just drift and hopefully fade a little bit back also i always listen to whatever i read so throw what you love and you know what i love i love the wing on top zone gt which lost the pole 
So you can't even buy these. But this is going to be a crazy uh, hole when it's really windy. <laughs> it's going to be very windy this week. Yes. But it's... Uh, this will be fun. This will be fun, guys. It'll make you think even more. So it's like, that's so one of the thinking. things. <laughs> like, having trash conditions kind of helps with strategy for disc golf, which you kind of need. So I don't mind bad weather. I mean, it's going to make this tournament into where I would say the winner is going to shoot 30 plus right. under par. Yep. To now the winner is going to shoot. Be close for 20 probably. Yeah, 15. I'd say 15 to 20, 20 something like that. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I like it. Just like that. I almost, I almost filmed oh. my first ace. You almost filmed your first ace. That yeah. would have been, so, been, so, been so excited for you. All right, well. Zony boy. Go zoner. If you don't have that disc, you can try this shot. Oh! Playing the skip. Playing the skip. No, it's okay. Hmm. Low. Ooh. Tour Ooh. series? I mean, there's no shot, right? You can get this, though. It needs a lot of angle, though. Yeah. Zone OS. <laughs> Not enough angle. Oh! Going left gap. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so <laughs> overstable. Well, hey, you got to see the difference between a zone, a zone GT, and a zone, uh, zone OS. <laughs> oh. All right. There's the other play I kind of had, which is like almost a straight shot. A slow on mid. But kinda. that just kind of drifts a little bit right. I think that's what I actually did last year. Hmm. All right. Mm. All right. We're rolling. That's the problem with almost acing it. You got to make a comeback putt. It's like, why would you putt it with no spin? And a ton of wobble. It's an interesting change. Well, I mean, it works for some people. Like, that's so much better. It's so much nicer if it's just like. That's way more efficient. Actually direct, yeah, and it can fight the, the wind. Looks beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. It's a pretty putt. All right, hole number 14, 711 foot, Paul Four, dog leg right gently kind of the whole way. We have OB left, and this year they tightened it up a lot, so that OB on the left side is way more in play than it used to be, which I think will make people kind of think about the shot and maybe not play as aggressive off the tee. I know last season we were kind of just ripping a drive through that. Yeah, and just hoping like to blasting skip. out, right? Yeah, because it was almost impossible to get far enough left. But now I think I might be throwing a fairway drive off just to hopefully mitigate the skip and- uh, Or like a flex forehand. And not go be Yeah, you could do that too. This right side is inbounds, but it's very heavily wooded. Oh, also this is the Power Disc Golf Academy hole. And we just hit the, or oh, well, about to hit the one year anniversary here on April 1st, I believe. So we've got a 50% off sale for your fall shoe if you sign up now. Yeah, we teach all kinds of stuff about disc golf. We got Yuli as a uh, coach. We got Simon, we got Holland, myself, and then also Jake Wolf to show some other shots as well. So have to check that out if you want 50% off. But let's get this Onyx a rip. And uh, I was just getting attacked by bugs, so I apologize see if, if we you weren't that. completely yeah. in frame during that. Oh, uh, people don't want to see I me. I just killed like three they bugs. They don't want to see me anyway. Well, they, they, the audio is all that matters. That's OB. Well, no, wait, hold on. That might actually be safe. Definitely left of what I want. That's gonna be pushing it. It kind of needs to end up end, end going straight. It's like even if I go right side of that little tree, I'm fine. Don't hit it though. Well, okay. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Yikes. I was trying. I was trying to break the hole. <laughs> I mean, it could walk, but yeah, no, it's it's, it's, it's so dicey to throw something like that. Yeah. I think it could be this sneaky forehand. Forehand, yeah. yeah. I haven't I haven't put this in. This oh, is like flat the flat thingy. boy. Again, we're playing this hole without much wind. Right. We have no idea what the wind. Well, this was do. windy. Uh, if it's if it's headwind, well, it should be. It's what I'm saying. If it's no if it's anything, any kind of wind. Is what we're doing right now could be exactly opposite of what we're doing in the tournament. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. That did hmm. not, uh, I didn't trust it as much, or I didn't, I thought it was gonna flip more. All right, last one. That looks beautiful. Wow. That's what I thought the orange one was gonna that's do. That's probably the, the ideal shape for this I shot. Think that's, actually, that I great. think that's what it wants, but the chances that, that I'm gonna be able to do that in the tournament's zero. I'm really glad Toss didn't throw that into the pond on that yes. little shot. Yeah, it's really a great disc. Yeah, that form was like perfect. It was a perfect forehand, but it's not even that farther. 
I'm actually further away from this OB line than I thought. I'm about 340 feet away. Your shot from was the basket. Like kinda scary though. It was a little scary. I definitely want to have it go straight on, push straight on out that gap, and then kind of float with that tree that my second one hit more, then just kind of sneaking past it left. But yeah, the forehand I think makes the gap the biggest. I don't know. I think it's just a hard shot no matter what you do. A little backhand at this. But you're in a good spot here. Second shot. OB all around this one too, or no? No, there's no OB right, and the OB left is pretty far left. So it's not really that dangerous of a green, considering things. Although the right side is very, very thick. So you, you, I mean, you want to be in the actual green, but. Uh, this forehand was absolutely cooked, but you can see too where, if that was a little bit further right, not quite as turned over. I'd be really pinched. Those, those trees, yeah, those trees can get in the way. You can be pinched off with the angle. This is a pretty good spot to be. You could throw either forehand, kind of spike highs or all this backhand route. I'm trying to be a backhand guy. I love it. You've been throwing that roach really well today. Kind of stayed on the edge. Did it? Yeah, it'll be a putt, but it's gonna be pretty obstructed probably. I feel like the forehand's tough here, no? Maybe. I was so worried about throwing a good one and you hit that tree. Right, it is kind of right in the way. Maybe I go a little more stable. That was on the edge the whole way, but that's... Yeah, I need to swing that out wider. Yep. No, I didn't, there was no chance on that. I mean, it's going to be 20 mile per hour wind, so... <laughs> well, I told you, you just step on that anyway. Yeah, I mean, know? it's whatever. Yeah. Is this a legal putt? Okay, so foot's down. I think so, as long as you land it behind the line, yeah. It looks goofy as crap, but I mean, I think it's Why would high. I just put like here? You totally could do that too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 372 foot pole three, pretty wide open. There is trees to the right, which you do see people kind of get a skip into it sometimes, but most people will just throw a power forehand hyzer and uh, hope to get a putt. Not too many turnovers, maybe a roller or two, if you don't have a good forehand, but it's a pretty straightforward hole. Let's try to get my tool series nuke up close. Oh man, I just Got hate it when you throw heat. I hate throwing bad shots, it's gone. Calvin, hey, Calvin, I need help. Protein shake? Protein shake? Oh, uh, it's so bad, I need to aim while I'm aiming and then, yeah. Aim where you're aiming, folks. Oh gosh, two for two? Did that come down? Yeah, that one came down. Okay. Are you trying to get your first one down? <laughs> I got backups for those. There. All right, I didn't throw it into the stinking there. tree. There, now you have to hole. skip it. Yes. It's not a difficult hole, I just sucked on those two shots, guys. The bug's kind of still starting to come out. I want early is, tea times. That is one of the benefits of the wind picking up is there won't be bugs, oh. you know? Or early tea time. That's also true. Hmm. In? Oh. oh, I almost filmed my false ace. That, that top 25 forehand we've been looking for. Spike, check, oh. perfect. All right, nice. he's back. Oh, look at this celeb, celeb shot. Oh, you should have been ready. Dang. Bro, you just spent the last 15, 25. Do 20. not say it took me that long. Oh. It took six minutes. It, it was very really quick, actually. Well, I was trying to say, like, he took a long time to be nice, but. It wasn't that long, because he's athletic and accurate. But he got I, my disc I don't so I, think athletic has anything to do with throwing a stick into a tree and hitting a Frisbee. What, is, what does it have? Luck? You can have someone that's super non-athletic have really good hand-eye coordination do that. Well, that comes to the question of what athleticism is, though. You know? I don't think someone you know, that hand-eye coordination you, put, plays to, into it? To play darts. You have to have really good hand-eye coordination. What do you think? Well, is, is athleticism but that person like, might not, Athleticism's like Like speed. running and jumping? Yes, that's part of it. Dribbling, shooting, that's part throwing. Of it. Yes. I think eye hand coordination fits into it. Because you can easily say, like, that guy's super athletic but has terrible hands. Oh, for sure. Right. Right? Like, you, you could be you fast, feel, feel, jump could, high, could strong. You be athletic, could you be athletic and slow? No. Probably not. Mm -mm. Anyway, you got the disc down for me. I'm two for two. So, Brody and Calvin have both retrieved the disc for me. This is the green here off of hole 15. Pretty exciting stuff under hole 16. Pull, pull three, hole, hole 16 here. A lot to talk about. A lot to talk about on this hole. Well, wow, three par so threes in the last four holes. Yeah. Makes, makes you think. That's not that bad. Four though. par threes in the last five holes. 
Seven par threes in the last 17 Wait, holes. Wait, no. six par threes in the last seven holes. Really? Yes. Um, I definitely like a course that's really heavy on the par fours and par fives in the, okay. last, the last par threes. <laughs> I don't play the course, so I'm like, you know what this course needs is more par threes. <laughs> but I think this course actually does a pretty good job. There's a decent amount of par fours and par fives out here, so I can't complain. In comparison. In comparison, yeah. yeah. Uh, the sports get into it. But it is kind of crazy. Ideally, the last, yes, this should, there should be less par threes than there are here. Last seven holes, six are par threes. Makes you think. Yeah, this is one of the shortest ones. Aside from hole, it's the shortest one aside from that, that one other one that's kind of similar, Call actually. Call it a dinker. Also a turnover shot. We have a gap. We have OB way left, almost impossible. But we do have heavy woods on the right. And uh, you kind of have to throw through that gap. And then even if it goes straight or right or left through that gap, you'll have a putt. A baby turnover shot, I think, is what's ideal. Some people will also throw four. forehand. Yeah. People will throw forehand. Um, that walks too. Kind of crazy play. But I just I like the backhand turnover shot. I'm gonna go with this zone again. Oh, that's so wide. Ob, is it? Might no, be. there's no shot, right? There's I don't no know. Is it, the, is, it the, is it that path? It's gotta be the path. And it's gotta Such be so hard shot. to get there. Uh, I didn't tone that at all. Shot the forehand, is that? Ob, wow, no. two for two. This is insane. I didn't think it was possible, and you've done it twice in a row. Wait, watch me. <laughs> this is gonna be aced. How is that not oh, no. moving oh, right more? Parked. That's fine. Oh, it's a missed. Oh, it's perfect. I need to get off this hole, boys. <laughs> Man, that's so disappointing to throw a, a bad shot on this hole. I... Turned it. Hmm. This hole's the toughest hole on the course, apparently. I don't know. Short holes that you feel like you have to get because it's like it's still it's it's actually difficult, but since it's so short, like everyone's gonna get it. It's actually one of my biggest gripes with wood go woods golf, honestly. Every hole feel, you feel like you have to get, even though. They aren't super easy. I don't know. No, Mr. Jawbreaker. Oh, gosh. All right. That was terrible. It's been terrible. a long day. You know, we're 16 holes in. <sighs> Here we go. This is, the, this is the play you've been waiting for. You've been throwing this thing. I haven't thrown this disc good, so we'll see. Oh, I pulled it that oh, time. Goodness gracious. I was, I was, oh, like, I was. Way too eager. To well, you guys, you guys get the idea of what we're trying to do on this hole. <laughs> no, I don't think you everything do. but what we did. I don't think they have any clue what you're trying to do on this <laughs> hole. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. Hmm. Got it. Bang. Scuba salute. Okay, we'll just AI that going in. Can we just AI all my and shots then, then? In my face. Oh wow, that actually, that actually was, wasn't terrible. That was, that was not, not bad. bad. Hole number 17, 717 feet. It's kind yeah. of fun to say. You're you know? a numbers person. You were a math teacher once, right? Yep. Hole par four, mean OB like all, along, all along the right side. No OB left, mandatory left. Most people are gonna try to blast something as far as they can up the fairway and kind of kind of just be okay with wherever you're at as long as it's far. I feel like left side or right side is kind of okay as long as you have distance. Um, if you do get far enough left, there is a wide open alleyway to the basket, um, but most people won't get that far left, so there will be some some gaps and trees that kind of contend with. I've got three options I'm gonna go with. I missed a 25 footer on this hole to get top 10. Who? I did. Asked? Final round. Who asked? You know, just <laughs> memories. Memories are coming back to me. Oh, I couldn't focus after my roast, you know. Oh, you're out. Oh, you're perfect. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll go with the stable new car. See what happens with this guy. That's... Oh. That oh. sucks. I can attack from now, though. That really, that really sucks there. <sighs> what about the roller play, though? I love the roller play on this hole. I might like it. Yeah, I really like that. It kind of got eaten alive when it hit, but you think? that's so far up there. I like that was perfect. I'm really, uh, I might be throwing roller on this hole. I'm surprised. It's a good point, yeah. You're probably throwing a Nuco S. <laughs> <laughs> every, every shot's gonna be a Nuco S. Nah, I think, I think it might be. It's like, oh, I might throw roller away a second, 20 mile an hour wins. Ah. Yeah, Nuco S. But for the video purposes, yeah. it's a fun roller shot. Oh! oh! 
Oh, get on out. Yes. Wow. Let me do that. That should have been for this disc, the get lucky. I try to go really aggressive high there. I'm gonna try to do it again. Aggressive high. Stay on cut. Look at this. Stay awesome on cut. Just by me. Oh, it's not going to. Oh, oh tree. Little ramp shot. Janice Thrasher throwing a roller on a hyzer. Are you crazy? Are no. you a psycho? No. Couldn't happen. Who would even think oh, of that? No, oh, no, I didn't. He yanked I, it. So I, bad. Sap. I, oh, gosh. Cut sap. back in. Cut. Oh, it's doing it. Come on. Hey, guys, use your imagination. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right, wow. should I do the normal play? Yeah, probably should. Okay. That was fun though. The I... rollers were, hey, that was a good time. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed that. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. This Stick part around. of the video is brought to you by Rollers. <laughs> okay. Got it. Also, I'm in the worst position possible. I'm like right behind. It's okay, I haven't thrown a good shot yet. If I just stand right over here, now I can see the shot. I still have yet to throw a good one here. So you're completely fine. Yep. There she is. Get out. No. Hmm. I'm gonna throw a nuke OS anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, it doesn't matter, it's the wind. <laughs> also guys, we're working on the squatch hole. We got the squatch banners everywhere. If you use uh, code Ezra, you get free shipping on any non-tool series bag at Squatch, or you can pick up my very own tool series bag as well. They just, they make the best bag, so check them out. Let's finish this hole. This is a pretty tough spot here. I feel like this is a pretty common landing zone. I think I clipped this tree at the very end and then just kicked right here. But as you can see, we've got quite quite the, the amount of gaps to try to choose from. Quite a conundrum. Yeah, ideally, you've got more distance off the tee to where all these gaps are a little bit bigger because of the proximity. Or out to the left where it's open. Or I guess even off to the right is that either. Yeah, because that, that's a pretty big gap right there. Nothing's flying off the wall and kind of telling me what to throw. So I don't really know. You got the tight turnover right here in this gap. Right, you could go, backhand. yeah, yep. Or you could go like flex, flex forehand. Or you can go, you go flex through this backhand. super tiny gap. What about like spike highs on from this spot? I'm gonna Ooh, you actually could. You're I close I think this enough. actually might work. Now remember, 30 mile an hour wins. 30 mile an hour wins, yeah. So a little bit right to left head, <laughs> probably not gonna do this. <laughs> is it oval stable enough? I think it's gonna be left of the basket. That's not yeah. bad. That is probably the easiest shot from what we've got. That's definitely the easiest shot. I'm with the forehand zone. Up the middle? Up the middle. This is probably the, the hardest left. shot. You think this is the hardest shot? The, the, you're trying to hit that five foot gap? <laughs> I think they're all five they're foot They're all gaps, hard, though, but they? I think this is the hardest out of all of them. That and you did it perfectly. So easy. I don't... Yeah, I what was the I easiest, talking about? I think that was the easiest gap. That was so nice. I, I can't wait to see what gap you pick. I can't wait to see what you do. He's got a jawbreaker zone in his hand. I think I'm just gonna go up the gut. Oh. Look how easy that gap is. That's so short though. Hmm. It's a tough one. Here we go. Oh, gotta skip. Oh, it's roll. Not a bad, it's not a bad play. It's all right. This, this roll is actually disgusting. Like this is, this is the best drive I've had this like last week of practice by a lot. I have a pretty wide open gap here, nothing in the way. It's almost too good because now you're back to where it's like you have to birdie from here. Right, but you put some extra uh, Yeah, you're almost too you good. You put a little you pressure on yourself. You kind of want to be a yourself. little worse than this. <sighs> no, you have to eagle it. You got to eagle it, Brody. Oh, it's deep. Wait, is it deep? Nah, it's a little deep. Nah, that's good. There's not a whole lot of risk. I mean, obviously, you just can't go OB right. You have, you have to keep the, keep the roller well, on It'd be cut. really hard to go OB right. The only thing is, it's gonna be 20 mile an hour win, so I feel like anything we see today is just out the window. Yeah. Rolling. Spike has on Nuko S was actually way short. I thought I was way closer to pin high. My Challenger SS that I thought was deep is actually only like 10 feet deep though. Yeah, it's a weird. The good news. Optical illusion. Oh, it's fine though, you know? I don't know what these uh, this line is behind it. It's like we got like uh, some kind of nuclear power plant running beneath the ground or something. Yeah, it's kind of like a do not dig. It looks like it's like a, it looks like it should be an OB line, but it's not. It's a left shot. Captain oh, captain. Hey. hey. There he is. Bobo. Ace. Ace? Yeah. Nuke, ESP nuke, hole 18. He's got change in his pockets because he's a money man. 
That's good distance. It's coming though, back. Man. Look at that. Safe. Oh. oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry. It's all right. It's a f I mean, 405 uphill. Scary it's green. Ripping headwind right now. So that's yeah. scary green. That actually was a pretty good. He actually had some surprisingly good pop on that. Honestly. Are you going Nuke OS or Nuke? Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go that that Z Nuke again. Yes. Island green drop zone. If you go OB, surrounding the basket, about 60. You got about a 60 foot circle. Spike has on nuke, obviously wind dependent. Sunday, Very Saturday, dependent, Friday, yeah. it's gonna be different, but. The one thing you can't do is throw it inside. You don't wanna go left. That's the worst, that's the dumbest mistake you can make on this hole. I feel really dumb. Okay. I, I feel no, I feel so dumb, I, I don't even, I can't even think of walls to describe it. Mm, you know? Hate that for you, man. Now he's going wide. He's playing smarter, but it's gonna be at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, that's a way better mistake, though. And I'm gonna throw one more shot. Thirty foot putt up the hill. I'm gonna throw one more. I'm gonna throw a spike hyzer with this nuke. He's going spike hyzer with this nuke. <clears throat> Flips up nicely. Drift, 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 and bottom of the hill. All right, Yuli nuke, swinging out wide. For some reason, like, it feels like it's really hard to throw this long. It is very difficult to throw this long. Yeah, it is. I don't know why. It's only 460. 405. Wait. Oh! 405? It is 460. There's no way it's 405. No, no. Oh, they, it is. They, yeah, they connected it to make a six. <laughs> it wouldn't be a BGPT tournament if without, this, a, little without a little Sharpie <laughs> on their T signs. Oh, man. I was going to say, it's like, 405, man. I'm really depressed about my distance right now, then. Jeez. That looks like a beautiful shot, Brody, if it fades. It will. It won't be good, but it's going to be. It's a putt. It's inbounds. A putt. Yeah. All right. Blue. Oh, I didn't put, didn't, I didn't Just give AI, it. AI. No, no pop. AI. Also no pop. Oh, AI. I... Oh, it's coming right back to you. Redemption. Redemption. This could be a, oh. this could be a thing of Fade away. Oh, no. Gosh. Man. All right, well. That's you know what, folks? That's tough. You know I'll what, y'all? That's gonna do putt. it here in Texas for the Texas Swing, actually. Texas State Championships this weekend. Check out DGN for all the action. Hopefully you see us on some of those lead calls. Uh, it's supposed to be windy, but thank you guys for watching. We, we appreciate it a lot. If you could drop a like and a subscribe, that'd be awesome as well. And we'll see you guys in Jonesboro on next stop. See you then. Oh, wow. What is it? What, what, what do you always say? Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, Spielberg. 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 People are dizzy right now. <laughs>